So this is like more like stream of conscious, like MoMA, Tilda Swinton in a clear box bullshit. I'm just gonna say stuff, and I hope it makes sense. Let's go with that. Let's give it up for our hostess, Noodles. She's gorgeous. I love her fashions. What you don't know about Noodles is that she is a very fucking hairy queen. She is a very, very hairy queen. Actually, she almost didn't make it here tonight because she was rushed to the emergency room just from fucking walking. She was brought in with the worst case of rug burn Sam Davis has ever seen. We're glad you're on the mend and that you have a salve that you were able to pick up on discount at Walgreens. Yay! On to the next one. Hentai, hentai, you're so imaginative. I love you very much. You make, you know, you're sickening, sis. Um, hentai along with, you know, Cupcake and myself, we both like to be really nude. And, you know, in drag, with being nude, it comes with a lot of tucking, a lot of vinyl tape, taping genitals to orifices. And Hentai is so nude, and she's taped so much that it's kind of disfigured her, the back, right above her ass. It's really wrinkly, and so much so that when she went to Austin Pets Alive and she bent over to tie her shoe, a young yuppie couple adopted her thinking she was a 10-month-old Sharpay. Wow, that would land it. That was good. Yeah, yeah see, I, I, I see you. I see you. I see you. Um, next is my sister, sister believe me in Rhapsody, the mother of Poo Poo Platter, the one who actually created me. Like, if it would not be for her, I wouldn't be here. So, oh, you, know, oh. you can send the hate mail too. Um, we did. Yeah, fabulous. <laughs> So, Bellini has been doing drag for quite a long time. Actually, this year she'll be celebrating 15 years in the drag game. Very, as they say, very long in the tooth. Long in the tooth. And speaking of teeth, um, legend, Austin, Texas legend that I don't think a lot of you know about is the gap in Bellini Ann's teeth is act was actually a secret passage to the our old bathhouse, Midtown Spa, that we used to have. Grackle and Cupcake know all about Midtown Spa. Grackle and Cupcake know all about that place. Well, but what you don't know is the gap, the gap between Believe Me and See that led you to the secret bottom floor where you were instantly blindfolded and made to fuck Nadine Hughes. Ah! And up next, and, and you know, also I want to say, you know, this is a beautiful, like, who's like sold out crowd. All I see is heads as far as I can see. A beautiful sold out crowd, much like our next guest, a beautiful sold out. Damn! Let me grab a bird breath. Oh my god. This, honey, I'm gonna, you know, I, like a good southern mother, right after I spent her to give a little bit of sweetness, but you are amazing. Congratulations on your win for Austin Entertainment of the Year. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're being nice and mean. You gotta lick it before you stick it. So, you know, Grackhole and Cupcake here, you know, were known as the Dirty Dynasty, everybody. Austin, Texas, drag legends, the Dirty Dynasty. Dirty, yes, I saw them give each other a blowjob on stage. Literally on stage. They were filthy, filthy. Dynasty, not so sure about Dynasty. Yes, you know what? Like, like the soap opera Dynasty, there were a lot of cat fights between Grackle and Cupcake. A lot of cat fights. Actually, between the years of like 2010 and 2014, they were so bruised, they were mistaken for the lead bottom in a Treasure Island punch fuck video. That's how much they fought each other. I love you. All right, on now to the lady of the hour. So earlier I performed a song called Little Sister. 
<laughs> well, the reason I performed that song is because uh, Cupcake hooked up with some um, ex-president Craigslist trade. No, and, girl, it no. was on Kick. Oh, I'm sorry, Kick. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. It was on kick. My bad. I do want to get this correct. Kick. It's an ex-president trade on Kick, and they had a rousing game of Little Sister Big Brother. Oh no. And there's no roast to that. That's just an actual story. <laughs> and that's why I did the song, or as I like to call it, Little Thither. <laughs> Oh yes, we all know about Cupcake's legendary lisp. You know, another legendary person that had a lisp was Freddie Mercury. And like Freddie Mercury, Cupcake and Freddie both have a house in Virginia. <laughs> They're real estate owners, isn't that amazing? Owning, owning a home suits you well, my love. Thank you, thank you. Um, and, you know, I'm sorry if that was a little offensive, but nothing is more offensive than Cupcake's little tiny baby chiclet teeth. I just have the smallest teeth I've ever seen in my life. Actually, it's, they're so small, if her mouth was a pussy, her mouth could star in the kindergarten remake of the horror film Teeth. I still have baby teeth in my head, you know that? They're still baby teeth. And that's why I fucking love you, because you have fucking baby teeth, and you fucking are amazing. And yeah, that's all I fucking got. I had some zingers in there, motherfucker. If anyone knows anything about Austin Drag, and they do not consider you a fucking legend, and I do not use that term lightly, you are, you are a legend. And that will never, ever, ever change. And I love performing with you. You inspire me. And fucking, yeah, happy roast, you goddamn piece of shit. I love you.